Boxing on the Zone, sponsored by William Hill. Manchester's very own Zalfa Barrett headlines here in his home city for the first time when he faces a resurgent Jordan Gill. Steve Clark makes a short journey along the M62 to have his second professional fight uh, when he takes on Swindon's Jensen Irvin. IBF champion Ellie Scottney looks to add the Ring Magazine and WBO Super Bantamweight titles to her collection as she faces Segolene Lefebvre. Warrington's Rhiannon Dixon challenges for a first world title fight and a very tough fight as well against Argentina's South American champion Karen Carabajal. Jordan Flynn was slated to face rival Cameron Vong tonight, but injury has pushed that one back to the summer. Flynn gets to stay busy against Tempela Maharushi, stepping in on late notice. OK, fellas, when a cold break, take a step back. Don't deliberately throw punches on the back of the head. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch up. Good luck. That big domestic fight, if he was to get through this, I think you keep things long, don't need to be trading with someone like Maharushi's landed big shots here as he's backed, right, flinging onto the ropes. Stop and this is what Maharushi yeah. promised. <laughs> Just get the sense if Flynn could man a sustained attack here, then Maharushi might not have the resilience to withstand it. Just too much fire, too much desire to want to get stuck in when you don't really need to. Use this fight for exactly what it is. It's a tick over fight. Get your timing, get your distance, get the win, come out unscathed, which you would you have done. Move on to that big domestic fight with Cameron Vong. Last few seconds then of what's been a decent workout for Jordan Flynn in his 11th professional contest. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds here in Manchester, we go to referee Steve Gray's scorecard. It reads 59 to 54 for your winner. He's still undefeated, Jordan Flynn. OK, spoke to you both in the dressing room. We both know I expect. Keep it clean, break straight away when told. Both of you watch your heads in close. Good luck to you both. Touch gloves. Good luck. Yeah, definitely. You can start to see it coming through across the divisions now. And I feel like it's a really exciting era for women's boxing. Um, we're kind of starting to... Um... Tremendous left hand. Pinpoint from Rhiannon Dixon, who's got only one win inside the distance. But that was absolutely peach perfect. And there's still a minute to go in this the third round. It was a lovely dip. Slipped under the right hand from Carbajal, came back with her own left hand, and it was a peach of a shot. Good right hand. This fight's in the balance now. I know she's got the knockdown, but like you say, Mike, it's still there to be won. Rhiannon's moving more to her right now as well. She was drifting to her left a lot of the first half of the fight. Um, I think she's having more success down the outside. She's moving to her left a lot because she wants Carvajal to follow right, and then she can slip and come back with her own left. But Carvajal is just not biting. There you go again, getting caught on the tail end with that right hand. Landed a good left hand herself. Dixon. She puts everything into the left hand, but then just kind of gets a bit stuck there. Something to improve on. Closing exchanges then. So many times in the contest, when one has landed, the other has responded almost immediately. So many of the rounds have been so, so tight, and how crucial will that knockdown be for Rhiannon and Dixon? Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action here in Manchester, we go to the judges' scorecards. Steve Gray, 98-91. Gregors Melinda, 97-92. Peter Milford, 96-93. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. And the new WBO lightweight champion of the world, Rhiannon 
Dixon. Right, you both know the rules, so let's just have a good, clean fight, okay? Most of all, remember to defend yourselves at all times, all right? Just close. Again, Scotney proving the stronger of the two in these close quarter exchanges, and she's got much more variety and clearly a lot more power. The Fev is having the odd success, but Scotney is just walking on through. The attitude Scotney has taken now is that I'm willing to take you at one punch. Nice right hand from Scotney. The Fev just doesn't know where the shots are coming from now, whether she's going to go upstairs or downstairs. The Fev more than happy to take a breather, short though it was. Very little respite because another right hand goes thumping onto the jaw. The punches are raining in now. The Fev trying to fire back bravely in the spirit of a world champion, trying to fire back. But in so many of the key factors, she's been second best. And on the night when Billy Graham walked into the ring with the IBF belt, proudly held aloft, belonging to Ellie Stutney. Peter Milford, 99-91. Amar Sakrawi, 97-93. John Latham scored this contest, 96-94. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. She's still undefeated, and now the unified IBF, WBO, and Ring Magazine Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Ellie Scottney! Well, variation according to the judges' scorecards. Okay, boys, both know the rules. What you to obey my commands, tell you to break, break clean. Defend yourselves at all times, boys. Good to you both. Getting to work again, Clark. I like this fire, I like this aggression from him. Looking to impress, looking to please. I'm already thinking, imagine seeing him and Jimmy Sainz. <laughs> Unbelievable <laughs> yes, uh, fire. Yeah, we've got the narrative of those clashes in the amateur ranks to draw on. Starting to see a bit of variation as well from Clark. That was a nice left to the body. It all stems from that jab, though. One, two, I think that was the clipping at right uppercut, and Irving having to go to the canvas, listening intently to Mark Lyson. It looked at one point as though he might fail to beat the count. We're just into the second half of the second round. Tell you what, this is a decent match for, for your second pro fight. But actually, that's not the first time that Clark has been caught after throwing his no, yeah, I, I think that's I think that's the biggest flaw that he has is, is the, what you do after the punch is always important. But I think he just if he dips his legs, it advocates what comes back, I think. And that's exactly what this kind of match is for as we move into the Closing seconds, fourth and final round, and so Clark has taken the distance for the first time in his professional career. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds here in Manchester, we go to referee Mark Lyson's scorecard. It reads 40 to 35 for your winner. He's still undefeated, Steve, Steve O'Clark. Obey the instructions at all times. When I tell you to break, you both break clean. Defend yourselves at all times, and the best look, touch gloves. There's that uppercut. He's got to be careful there, Gil. He, luckily, he just slipped to his right there. Good work, though, in response. I think it's going to be long before he finds, starts finding the range for that shot. This is fascinating, though, watching these two men working their respective openings in very different ways.
horses to his feet. But there's still two minutes to go in the 10th round. A thudding shot to the body from Zelfa Barra now. Can he put the finishing touches? Gill responds. Brilliant response. Brave response. And that's brought just about everybody at ringside to their feet here. Yeah, they're horrible, they're nasty, so I've got a lot of respect for Jordan Gill here. Gamely coming back, and that was a horrible shot to the body. He takes a right hook as well. This is beautiful action. Great stuff. Oh, oh, what a second shot down to the body. Almost a carbon copy of the first. And just over half a minute to go. He looks at his corner. He gets up for the second time in the round. Undone maybe by his own bravery. He was taking it too bad again. That one seemed to stray low. And again, everybody at ringside on their feet. Gill now is taking heavy punishment. And the referee decides he's taking too much punishment. And the celebrations begin for Zelfa Barrett. Boxing on the Zone, sponsored by William Hill.